Look, um, I'm Bonnie, just in case you don't know, and I'm the founder of Life Changing Grace, and I would like to talk about witchcraft. Because the thing is, is that we operate in witchcraft, whether we know this or not. And that statement in the Bible, lurking around like a lion, is so true because the enemy will disguise itself as the divine or a, I can't turn this stuff off, anyway, um, it will just, it's just like when you first start reading the Bible, all of us think that it's contradicting itself, okay, because we're not really focusing on the word and on the promise that the Lord has given us. Okay, and the one thing that he truly detests is our thoughts. So, when it comes to, when people are really getting into manifestation, because the thing is, is what we think, we'll see things appear in our life. This happens on a regular basis all the time, whether you notice it or not. It will, it, it'll just show up. So, and God truly detests. The th one thing he hates the most is our thoughts. Our thoughts are, can be so destructive. Um, it's, like say, it's like realizing, okay, you keep messing up, so you keep saying, I keep messing up, or I'm just not worthy enough to do this. Um, we will criticize ourselves with self-sabotage a lot of times in our life and then we wonder why things keep showing up or um, like and it is it's a manifestation of a curse you know from maybe the, the generation before you or or just just a curse of somebody's words our words and I apologize my throat I had a lot of problems with my throat I got a, a, something going on over here it's really swollen so Anyway, but ice in it and stuff. So prayers would be greatly appreciated with you, you know, spiritual warfare um, team out there. If you're coming in on this, I really need some prayers. Uh, and this is why we, we ask other people for prayers because we're so emotionally involved or a pain has got to, is just taken over us. Maybe an injury or something has just taken over us and it's become our very being everyday life you know so this is why we ask other people to pray for us because they're not so attached or emotionally involved so prayers would be greatly appreciated for my throat and having a lot of headaches they come and go of course because I pray them away so back to the subject I'm thinking when this is why the Lord truly detests and hates our thoughts out of everything that we do everything that all the sins that we that we commit out of all the sins that we commit it is our thoughts that are truly devastating to other people as well as us so the subject is witchcraft we're doing it sometimes and we don't even know we're doing it when they got this um this new age out there manifesting you know, yes, I am, I am the great I am, because he lives inside us, okay, and this is what I'm saying, lurking around like a lion, this, the, the new age will teach you these certain things, and it's, you know, to get your desires, to want your desires, and um, when you're, when you're separated from the God in your heart, okay, we will get misdirected, and once when we will we'll get so excited because then we'll realize some of the things that we talk about or something maybe our wish list or you know children will do this they'll have a wish list and they'll they'll want something and a loved one will just feel this tug and buy this certain thing and they were just they were just looking at it or something or they've seen it before and they really really wanted it so this is a form this is i'm trying to make it apparent how this works because he lurks lurks around looking like a lion so we get so excited with this and stuff and then we realize that something isn't exactly working out for us and it's always good to just stay focused in the word the promise the lord 
okay and when you do that and you you, you soak and saturate yourself with the holy word okay then you'll see the difference and this takes time okay um i wanted to express a, a story that i did okay so that you can kind of make connections to how that we may be doing witchcraft okay any okay if you're questioning whether witchcraft is involved in something okay if you are literally detail by detail and like i said the more you practice your brain is just like a muscle the more you practice this the more you notice like you got a craving for a candy bar or something and and, and maybe your um ch children went into a store and got some candies and stuff like that and sure enough they come back with that that candy bar that you haven't had in a long time or or, or maybe even it's maybe a declare a, uh, that donut called Leclaire, you know, and you ain't had one of them in a long time and, and maybe a, a person at work brings it in or something like that. Okay, this is just how it works. So once you realize this is happening, okay, it's just like putting a hex on somebody when you start, you know, when, when your thoughts turn into your words, okay, you're cursing another person or you're cursing the circumstances, or he says curse not. Many times in the Bible, he, it's like curse not, in other words, to get out of your head, okay? Um, it's like back in my day, I would get in fights with people, or people would come after me, or they'd get really offensive with me. And a lot of people, they didn't understand the attraction to me, but they really, truly hated me for whatever reason, and they didn't really know what it was. And that, too, is the enemy. Okay, um, I would say, you know, next time something bad happens to you, I want you to remember this. And I would... Put, I, I can't remember how I would do it, but I would put God into it. So that that is cursing God in vain, okay? Because God wants good things, okay? So when somebody does you bad and you're like, God will take care of you. Um, next time something bad happens, you know, I want you to remember what you did to me. Or something in that state, okay? Your desires out of evil thinking because you're in pain and you're hurting you want to strike at someone it's just like when we're having a verbal a verbal argument or something like that the thing is is when it's like that nobody's hearing anybody but you're spitting out those words of hate and you're cursing another person so you are working for the devil it's witchcraft okay if you are you just desire this person so much you know, and you keep thinking, which is okay, because you can't stop your thinking, okay? Sometimes it's really hard to do that, okay? So when you start a practice, like making or breaking a habit, when you start this, it will shed from you, okay? As you're reborn, you're, you're having a relationship with the spirit, okay? Um, our anger will get involved because things aren't working out for us. It's almost like that child that wants that piece of candy and you say no. Okay. Sometimes God tells you no. And that's it. No. It doesn't mean right away that, that it's no forever. And it's not, you know, it, 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 it's not in your near future. Because it's have faith in things that are unseen. Okay, it's releasing and letting go of your own desires, your own anger, or whatever the case might be. Because you may be desire a relationship with this person so bad, or, or you're so mad at the person that you had a relationship with that you want bad things to happen to them, or, or, or you just start thinking these things, and then something bad ends up happening to them. Okay, I used to do this all the time. I would get mad at someone, and I would literally say, you know what, God, deal with them. You know, and and I would have this conversation, and bad things would happen to them. And, I, and, and, I, and it would, and the enemy 
multiplies his strategies by doing this when he does one thing that makes you think about another thing and then and then you know he uses us in the same identical way that in spirit in uh, spiritual warfare if we use the tactics against the devil the devil could turn around and do it back to us so very often we don't even realize that we are cursing somebody or we're wanting a certain person to be gone in a certain way and our minds just start reeling and reeling and then of course the pain comes more and more and then there's anger and aggravation and then you just start thinking just you just you want this other person to hurt too you know and that is witchcraft whether you realize it or not it's witchcraft um, if you want something and you begin to pray and, and you're making that person in your mind change their change who they are you know and a lot of times this happens in relationships because we're unhappy you know um, I'll be making another video I'll probably put it at the very end here um, about how we are sharing our spirit with other people when we have sexual relationships with them or when we're bonding with them and we're hugging them and we're kissing them okay the Lord simply states two souls emerge and become one okay so even if you're with this person in a relationship and you're and they're doing things for you and the thing is and if you know that they wouldn't normally do that for you on a regular you know normally and you're making them do things that they don't want to um that is it's witchcraft i don't care who you are where you're at what you're doing that is witchcraft um when there's this thing with the flesh. We have to be under control. We have to try to find reason for things all the time. Um, when there's a breakup, where we want to find a reason. What did we do wrong all the time? And sometimes we are just too infatuated about controlling the situation because maybe we've been in the relationship for so long and we don't know any other way to control it. Okay. We want to control it so badly, okay, that we're coercing people or things to happen in our lives. And then you realize why things are such a mess when, when things are like really, really good and great. And then, and then, then something just happens and it just falls apart and everything. And when, when you realize another person's even doing it to you and you're losing yourself, Okay, you also have to realize if you're in that relationship and you're losing yourself, that other person's lost too, okay? Because the, the two fleshes come together as one, okay? And this is how when people get together and they're unhappy and it's because they're thinking about the ones that came before them and, you know, this is why so many marriages and so many relationships are falling apart because we have this demon of having to control every single thing and I'm telling you I believe I've invented it but of course I didn't I would totally fake freak out totally skits out when things didn't go exactly the way I planned it okay and that also it, it that's how the devil the enemy magnifies his plans okay by using these things to get to keep us confused so if you're confused and you have to know that the divine spirit will always be patient with you you can t you can ask it questions over and over and over again okay and it will always wait and have patience because there's so much other stuff coming in trying to control the situation and of course we're addicted to it or 
or whatever the case might be. So when it comes to witchcraft, if there's anything that you're doing to receive something that you're wanting, it's witchcraft regardless. Um, <coughs> now we have our attractions to certain devices, you know, like crystals or or um, there's the tarot cards out there that have um, Odom on there and Inky in their cards. And I don't know much about cards. All I know is that cards is a way of playing a game. And we got to get out of this realization, this, this false realization that we think life's a game. And very often we're going to come in contact with people that literally live their life as though it is a game. Like, you know, none of this exists. None of this is true. There's no evil out there. You know, of course, the enemy wants you to believe that there's nothing evil out there. But it's obvious. We can look all over the place. There is evil out there. There's things that people do that they normally would not do that is evil. So... The thing is, is that is this isn't for fear-based, okay? Although our fear is what brings up where we try to control things all the time. Okay, it's just like when um, in the Bible it says, do not take the Lord's name in vain. Okay, it's not meaning literally, and like I said, please subscribe, keep put a comment below or go to my page and we can have a, a regular communication just like, as it is, it's under communication. And you can have a regular, closed, private conversation through communications, just like Messenger on Facebook. So, and you have to go to the, the page that you subscribe to or that you're, that you're looking at. You just push on to the name, of, the name of the person or the picture. And it'll bring you up to like, playlists and videos and and subscriptions and it'll have a whole big list on the top you can scroll and it'll have communications in there now I'm pretty sure it, you know I'm I'm in the US so I'm pretty sure it would be maybe a little different for others over there because I've also noticed my screens are changing but it's there so um and the thing is is that He says, do not take the Lord's name in vain. Now, I can't stand, you know, saying the, the God D word. If I hear it, it kind of, it's almost like a piercing sword in, in, into my chest when I hear that name. It just disgusts me. But that is really, that's, that's just the beginning. That's not really what he's saying. He said, do not take the Lord's word in vain. Okay, which in other words, it's like using the Lord... To get what you're what you want personally in your life that the Lord said no or said no at least now <laughs> you know you know no doesn't mean no always or no all the forever you know um, too often we panic you know when someone tells us no okay um, and it's the way the subconscious mind works it's like don't tell me no don't tell me I can't do this or, or don't, you know so when he says do not take the Lord's name in vain, okay, it's not using and twisting, which a lot of religion and churches out there do this, twisting and using the Lord's word for their own self gain. The biggest witchcraft out there. Paul warns us about this over and over and over again, and sometimes we don't get it. It's just like Job. A lot of people read Job and they don't finish. It's just like a lot of people will start a book and they'll be like, and they get so excited and they don't finish the book. And by not finishing the book, you'll be recoursed into doing evil and you don't even realize you're doing it. Because you haven't, you, you know, it's like the Lord says, you still don't get it. <laughs> so if you read the end of Job, You'll understand that even Job wasn't getting it and God was saying, you still don't get this. Okay, this is how we operate. Okay, we just don't get it. So, with that being said, the 
the Lord is saying, do not use my word, do not use my words in vain. Okay. <clears throat> do not twist my words. And, and, uh, end of revelation. A lot of people avoid revelation. That's the thing. It is revelation. It's, there's good and bad in it. And of course the devil wants to misguide us so that we don't see the truth that and he gets really close to the truth and then he manipulates us into manifesting a whole bunch of chaos because we really didn't think about what we were really wanting you know it's like it's like even in witchcraft be careful what you wish for you're gonna get it okay um it comes at a price um, a lot of our gods out there, they, uh, they would sacrifice parts of their bodies. They would even, they would go insanely crazy and then commit suicide. And, um, that's the thing is that way too often we are wanting to control things and we want to know too, knowing too much of, of a good thing can be very destructive as well and i really hope that you get i i pray all the time that you guys get something from my video and that we work together and we get things we magnify god together we magnify the spirit together because we're all teachers and students so um and then when we can approach things from a different perspective from god's perspective that's what we're doing is that we're trying to retrain and come back to what we were originally created for not to manipulate everything in our lives and and get off course and but that's what the devil's trying to do and the, and the devil works the same exact way as the divine spirit would work but he disguises himself to look like that and he he gets us into a fear-based state so that and that's the thing is that when you pray for things you get things coming to you and all that and that's it's just like what he says yes i did good things in your life you know and, and we did good things that he wanted us to do because he this holy spirit intervened but we did not know him we were playing games with other things we were just um it's just like there's a lot of them that a lot of people that will will go to crystal beds and lay on that like worshiping like literally like something bad ends up happening in their life or things end up being chaotic it's like oh we got we gotta run to our crystals we gotta hold our crystals and we gotta or we gotta sit on them or we gotta sleep with them or whatever or if that is a false belief system and the enemy will run with that and things will end up that aren't good. Things will end up happening in your life. And you're like, oh my God, things were great. And then everything just, it just fell down. And everything just is collapsing onto me. Okay, and this gives you the chance, of course, to always go into counsel. Always have patience and go into counsel with God. With the Holy Spirit that lives in us. And know that there is a fly driving me crazy. Anyway, that there is a distraction out there, okay, in that <laughs> the heavens agrees. <laughs> there is a distraction out there and it uses our fleshly desires to try to manipulate us to play in his ballpark. Okay, and the thing is, is that eventually things that are not good will end up appearing in your life. Okay, and, and it's not for you just, you know, to go into a panic, which of course the devil loved that, you know. <laughs> so, it's like when we, and it's natural, oh, it's, I call it second nature, because when we were originally created, we were not created to do it like this. But second nature is to try to get control of something so that you can control a certain thing for an outcome that you want 
So if there is a certain outcome that you want, literally, and you're chanting and you're, you're, you're literally worshiping other gods, and there is always a price when you do that. Okay, um, and a lot of times we're, we're bullying God. We're thinking God is doing things to us when actually what he's trying to do is bring us through. He's there, but the enemy is doing this stuff to us, okay, so that we can't see where the Lord is trying to bring us through it because he will always constantly bring things up to show that we can get out of a circumstance whether we take that or not is really what the whole thing is all about he will always give us a way out of something that is not from him okay and you know a lot of times we're, we'll give up right before we're fixing to be resurrected you know we'll give up and it's always the enemy that's making us think that we're not worthy enough. We've done this, we've done that, and and he wants us to think that we're oh you're 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 doing this and it's witchcraft. That's why this is happening. Um, so our journeys will differ from this, okay? And you gotta understand you're working with the divine spirit as well. You know that you're under attack, but you know faithfully that you are guarded and he will guard you. Even when we are in the lack of knowledge, that's how we fail. He tells us over and over again, all the disciples the same, that his people fall from lack of knowledge, lack of wisdom. Okay, and the thing is, is that the enemy can give us a whole bunch of wisdom and mislead us to thinking that it's truth by molding and turning things around to where we're distracted. So, um, so yeah, if anything, and it's natural for us, like I said, second nature, it is natural in the flesh for us to think bad things when we are hurting. Um, just like when, um, Say, like, I like to use headaches because they come and go, and they come and go. Lots of times they come and go. Okay, it's like an attack. Anything that comes and goes, it's an attack. Okay, and it's to try to make you think, okay, you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong is why this is always happening to you. You're not worthy enough to to, to not feel the pain. You're, you know, there, it, whatever comes in your mind that does not serve you, you know it's from the enemy and he's trying to course you into coming up with some reasonable excuse why you're not healed in a certain way or a reasonable excuse why you feel so lonely you know and the thing is even if you're in a room with a bunch of people you can still feel lonelier than you can feel when you are literally in a room without somebody you know um, and that's even more painful than the loneliness of actually being in a room alone. Because the thing is, is when you're like that, you're not alone. You may not see and you may not feel much at first from the Holy Spirit that's in you. But the thing is, is that you realize that the deepest loneliness that you've ever felt. And if this resonates with you, hit a thumbs up, you know. Um, when you do that, you support, you, you just support the whole movement of the Holy Spirit, you know, and, and sharing. I want to thank you for your shares and your likes and your subscriptions, of course. And you end up realizing and resonating that you know good things are going to happen for you. It doesn't matter how they come to you let go of the control beast okay it doesn't matter you know that this would be good for your life whatever it may be get off the details in the reasoning of why maybe you haven't been healed or why you haven't met somebody 
Okay, the thing is, is that a lot of times we are trying to find salvation outside of our being or love outside of our being. Okay, when it's been here the whole time. Okay, and the enemy's like, ah, okay, I can, I can use this to, to not only get a hold of her, but to get a hold of, you know, everyone that's watching and seeing the destruction that's going to come out of this. Okay, so we may be deceived into thinking that being with this certain person is going to be beneficial for us because it's, it always feels good at first, you know, or, um, for myself, cause I, I'm, I'm. It, it, this is a constant thing every hour every day for me okay I'll get around people and because I'm so into truth that I can get around people and I can have agape love for them because they truly don't understand what real love is and they're talking and trying to manipulate someone into their loneliness okay um by using stories to to maybe urge you to do something that you normally wouldn't do unless you felt that energy from them from their sad story that they told you okay and this this differs for each people you know and like i said if this resonates with you i'd love to i'd love to communicate with you i'd love to get you know in contact with every i just i love engaging with you guys so um this will definitely be a life-changing grace channel and um i'll also put it on my meditation page as well because um too often we look for something outside of us to resurrect us or to give us a spiritual enlightenment okay and that's the thing we're, we're always craving the spiritual enlightenment okay and too often we're not expressing the fact that we want truth we don't want to be lied to no, no we want authenticity you know we we don't want to be distracted and 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 coursed into doing things that we don't normally want to do or don't want to do to get what we want okay so by noticing this it's a revelation it's the wisdom it's the divine spirit working in you realizing that when you create that relationship with spirit in yourself as one like it's just like you know having a relationship with a physical being okay you emerge as one okay that's why it's so essential when when you're sharing your energy even with a crowd of people and that their energy may be affecting you and, and you realize that this certain energy was not yours until you walked in that room and you felt that and the thing is is that you can start to realize okay this doesn't have to suck my energy I have control the spirit has me okay and you'll realize that you'll be doing things that you never didn't even plan on the things you're saying or the things you're thinking you would never normally plan that but then you see <coughs> you see where there there was a change and a shift that the negative energy tried to embark itself on you but you realize your strength and you realize that okay you have that agape love for that person because whether you, you want to deny it or not but nine times out of ten, it is something that you have done yourself or something that you have run into before. And we have to remember to, to get off that control demon as well as that deception demon that wants to make you think that you're doing things wrong all the time. And that you don't deserve anything but this... Uh, you know uh, weight on you or or instead of that you'll run into people too where it's like the reason why you're running into that in, in this circumstance might be approaching you again in another person you realize that that agape love is in you 
and there's a message and you can embrace this person with some understanding of what they're going through okay and and you realize that the spirit has you doing things that you never even planned out or doing things or forgiving people that you never thought was ever possible it might be that person that you cursed that you hated or that you once loved and how could they have done this to me and when I showed them so much love I lost myself and you and then now you're realizing that that person helped was helping the enemy so that you could lose yourself so that that person might end up showing back up in your life because they have shifted themselves too to more awareness in the divine spirit of their their actual purpose here on earth their their path and it's the thing letting go of control submitting and letting the lord like always asking telling the lord use me up use me up train me up so that i am diligent in your very existence the way he sees things you'll start to see like the most darkest places and you'll see light because you have become exactly what god needs you to do for someone else's life you know and it's not necessarily means that that person's coming back in your life and that and keep your excitement it's letting go of your what you want into control in your mind you don't want to put a hex on someone to love you you don't want to think and, and like i said hex it's just a thought i mean it's just like i always know for some reason this is weird and it's okay to play with it like this because then you're kind of understanding how the spirit communicates with you i know that i'm not doing it it's not me it's the holy spirit working through me Okay, um, I just know when the mailman comes. I, I, I know when they're going to come, even if I don't see them on the road. Uh, sometimes I'll go to my door and I'll open up the door and someone is at my door. <laughs> you know, and I wasn't even thinking about opening up the door to, you know, open up the door to the person that was there. You know, they're just walking up to my door, you know. Um, the Spirit does that to you. It's like... You'll do something and you're like, why did I just do that? It, it feels like that. Like you didn't plan to do that, but it happened anyway. Or you didn't plan to say that, but you're about to say it. And it's, it's like you know that there was no reason that you were thinking about that. And that the spirit just went, you know, it's kind of like that little, little fairy, you know, that hits you on the top of the head, you know, hello, you know. And you realize that's from the divine spirit. And you also have to understand, too, that having patience and submitting to the Lord, okay, then you'll realize and you'll expect that the divine spirit, if it's not from the divine spirit, and the enemy's using a certain thing that the divine spirit used, divine spirit's job is to keep you aware and protect you from that. Okay, so when you have patience, you realize, whoa, wait a minute. The enemy just used something that is personal to me and my divine spirit that lives inside me. And you'll know that that's an exception. And you'll, you'll learn from that. You'll get so much wisdom. And you're like, holy cow, if I wasn't truly have a relationship with the divine spirit, then I wouldn't normally know this. And then you'll realize that reminders or somebody will come in with a similar situation that you went through years and years ago and you'll realize wait a minute you know what if I didn't if the divine spirit didn't just show me that or or that back when you went through that you totally missed it and you'll and that's how the divine spirit works because the divine spirit will be like because we got in pain and we went through that we can help another person not be stuck in that pain for very long so that's how the spirit will bring people together to magnify something that we normally wouldn't see unless we were 
together having a conversation or that we got back together or met again or whatever the case might be so anyway yes have fun with this because it happens even when we're not even realizing it happens it's just like thinking about it's just like maybe a song will play and you haven't heard that in forever and it, it's a message relating to something that has happened or is showing back up in your life okay which you normally wouldn't have seen that message unless you had had it happen to you before okay and you get more enlightenment and like I said I've seen some of you out there a lot of you youth out there and everything else please it's not for you to be fearful and shaking and, and scared and not wanting to address the enemy. We have to know that there is evil in the world regardless. Okay. Our fear, it, it, there's fear. There's fear everywhere. But we have to realize that, that's why he always constantly says, fear not have patience stand still you know um, they train us up in this okay when you're even when you're fixing to go into combat you know there's always a strategy so when we submit to the Lord and we have patience and we go to him for counseling not picking up the phone gossiping to our family or, or gossiping to our friends, or we'll call this one friend because this friend's always on my side, even if I'm wrong. You know, uh, it's going to the Lord, going to the truth, and knowing that He will always, always, always be there for you for counsel. Go to Him for counsel. That is where we get our counsel from. Not going to other people, and like I said, you're constantly talking about an issue or circumstance that keeps coming up in your relationship and you constantly start talking about it or everything will be good for a while and then it'll start spiraling down and then you're talking about it more it's because you're talking about it you are manifesting this to keep occurring and keep coming up and the thing is is that it's like it did on my dream thing we can make up our dreams. We can do this with our brains, okay? And sometimes we get distracted. We we become our own enemy. So once you realize this, <laughs> okay, then you can start realizing the indifference and in how the spirit will communicate with you. And it will come in and you will expect it to come in and interrupt anything that is anything other than the divine spirit in other words if it's anything that's not the divine spirit you expect that your spirit that was assigned to you when god gave breath to you is going to protect you and he's going to intervene okay and that's why it's really good for us to excitement is the same frequency as fear so if we're excited to do something and we're really really excited there's always going to be something that's going to come in and, and disturb it okay so anyway i want to say god bless and you know just rebuke your thoughts if there's if you get angry this is what happens we're human this is what's going to happen but the thing is is that we don't have to allow this to happen even when we're truly to test and hate somebody or you know hate's a strong word so if you really get in anger and you start thinking about these things in your head, rebuke them immediately. It's just like sometimes I'll feel something that just doesn't serve, like there'll be a vision, like, you know, um, lots of times this happens with my dogs, like, I'll take, they'll be outside and I'll be, I'll have that feeling and I'll, I'll, I'll think about them getting hit by a car and I'll rebuke it. I'll rebuke it in the name of Jesus and I cover it in the blood of Jesus. And, I, and, I, and I'll, I'll take that decision to change what I'm thinking because it doesn't serve anybody to think that. Even if that person hurt me. Or, and like I said, lots of times when I'm out there and I feel like one of the dogs might get, get hit and I kind of like go from what I was focusing on to, oh boy, the dogs are out. 
Sure enough, there's a car coming down way down the road. I wasn't here and I didn't hear it, which I could if I was focusing on it. But the thing is, is that the spirit will always intervene to protect you and you expect it that the spirit will do that. And changing your thoughts to, well, this always happens, that always happens, or this person always does this, this person is never going to change. You change that thought instantly because you know that's not serving you to be thinking that even about another person or another thing. And then you realize that you can intervene with anything that doesn't serve you that's not that's not from God. You know, and you start seeing things from God's perspective. And, and you can always stand in correction. You know, and but anyway, I'm so glad that you spent some time with me and I hope you got something from this. Any questions, any ideas, where you want to go, if you want to hear more about this. Um, like I said, I love interacting with you guys and like like I said when we do that we really magnify the message you know and we just embrace the fact that we came into a conversation or and we came out with a multitude of something that we 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 never even thought that we were going to be there or get that message or never even seen it in that way until we spoke or got together you know and and we're all learning and we're all magnifying God and be salt and light to the world and just love one another. And anyway, God bless. Love you. See you later. Until then, bye-bye for now.